Hello and thank you for tuning in to Braley Slade. I am Demetria, a licensed cosmetologist and um, I do a lot of informative hair videos on this platform but I'm also going to start including other beauty videos and lifestyle things as well. So if you are interested in a fan of those kind of things please subscribe to this channel and also you can check out my website if you're into like beauty things such as fingernails or if you're into my makeup look today you can see me do a good ready with my friend on my website at um royallyslade.com so you can find the royally set episode series that's where i did my face and then if you're interested in press on nails the press and slay um series collection you can find a plethora of different nail styles and colors if you're into that kind of thing but today we're not talking about that we are talking about this wash and go that i have going on here and so i start off all my videos with clean hair and i did not show you the process of how i clean my hair so i am a fan of co-washing so if you want me to do a video on like co-washing versus shampooing what are my thoughts about it as a licensed professional please leave a comment below and i will make that for you but um i co-wash with as i am long lux pomegranate and passion fruit grow wash so this is it right here it smells like candy or something yeah it smells so good so i use that as a co-wash and then i condition afterwards with the shea moisture manuka honey and referral oil intensive conditioner intensive hydration conditioner with fig extract and baboa oil that was a mouthful but um i conditioned with this and you will see that i left a little bit in my hair afterwards and i put some more in it so i'll explain that later in the video but i just wanted to give you guys a brief introduction and i'll come back at the end and tell you my thoughts about my hair all right let's get into the video Okay, you guys, so as I stated before, I am starting off with freshly co-washed hair and I'm just like to keep a towel nearby to help any of the dripping water. And it may seem like my hair is already very wet, but it has dried in certain areas. So I'm just taking my water and refreshing that. Okay, so now I'm taking the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Conditioner, and this is a regular conditioner, but I am using it as a leave-in. So when I co-washed my hair, I left a little bit of it in there already, and so this is my first time taking some and adding more in it. Um, and I wasn't 100% pleased with the results, but I'll explain that a little bit more at the end of the video. So keep watching for that. But one thing I can say is just make sure you rub this in very well. Because I did have a couple of um, like areas that dried white. And I've used this combination before and I haven't had that issue. So I think it was just a combination of using a little bit too much of this product and not rubbing it in as well as I should have. Okay, so I'm using my fingers to section off the back of my hair and using butterfly clips to separate my hair from the section I'm about to work on. And I use maybe inch sections. And I'm taking a generous amount of the Olive Oil Eco Styler and rubbing it and raking it through my hair. I don't really use a wide tooth comb since I've cut my hair because it's very short so it's easy just to finger detangle. And um, afterwards, I'll take a little more gel if I feel like I need it. Just make sure your hair is thoroughly coated with this gel. And then I'll take some water just to help the product go through and take my dimming brush so that my curls will be defined. And that's it. I do that for every section. I do want to make note that you can add water and product as much as you feel needed. So you'll see me spray water before I apply gel. You'll see me spray it after I apply the gel. It's just when I feel like my hair needs some more water. So it's not a particular time that you must spray it. Just whenever you feel like your hair needs it.
so now I am just going through and finding the pieces that are not as defined as I would like them to be and just taking my finger my index finger and my middle finger and just kind of running them running the hair between that if that makes sense just to smooth the hair out and get rid of any frizz and I just do that you know and all the little pieces that I see have a little bit of frizz All right, so now I'm gonna work on the sides of my hair. I'm taking a small amount of gel and just massaging it in there, rubbing it in, making sure that you know everything is nice and coated. And then I'm going to take my little, I don't know if it's more bristle, my little brush that guys use, and I'm using it, I'm rubbing it in circular motions to help define the curls on the side of my head. You can also use the palm of your hand or a sponge. So here I'm diffusing. I air dried for maybe about five hours and it was still damp to the roots. So I just hit it for maybe five minutes with a diffuser. So I'm removing the diffuser attachment and on low heat and high speed, I'm just hitting the roots of my hair to help create a little bit of volume. So now I'm taking some of the Instant Control Edge and Braid Gel that I get from Amazon, I'll link it below, and just laying down my edges. And I also like to use a wrap strip to let the gel dry down. So my edges are done, I removed the wrap, and now I'm just taking some Coconut Oil Witless Hydrating Oil Mist by OGX and just patting it into my hair and kind of just fluffing my hair to get the volume that I want because we all know that first day hair can be very flat and I'm also just going to take my pick and lift the roots a little bit but this wash and go was not crunchy at all I'll explain a little bit more in the next clip So as you saw in the beginning, these are the results of my wash and go with the olive oil, um, Eco, Style of, Eco Styler olive oil and this Shea Moisture Conditioner. And I did this before at the end of last week and the results were um, a little bit more stiff. So for me personally, I like a little bit of a stiff wash and go because that means I'm going to get a lot of days out of it. This one is very soft which is not a bad thing if you are into that. So I would definitely recommend adding more of this. Like this is a very good leave-in. Can't use too much of it or it will flake. I have seen a little bit of flakes. So I'm not gonna stunt, um, but just a little bit of it. And it is a very good conditioner to help keep your hair soft under the gel. But me personally, I prefer just a little bit of conditioner and more of a hold with my wash and go. So next time I will not be adding more of this after I get out of the shower. But other than that, it turned out good. I liked it. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, you learned something from it. If you have any other combination of products you'd like me to try, please leave a comment of that below. But yes, please subscribe to this channel. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Instagram, Royally Slade. Facebook, Royally Slade. As I mentioned my website before, royallyslade.com. And yeah, follow this channel. 
Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the love and support. This channel is growing. So to every new subscriber, thank you. I appreciate it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.